Hello everybody and welcome, my name is S. Ryan. Today I wanted to do something very different to a few series we've been playing recently. Big games with huge expansion space and lots of people to conquer. No, 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 today we're going rather small. When I say small, I really do mean small. This is going to be one of the most packed games I've played in quite a while. This is a dual-sized Pangaea map. A map designed for two people. Well, specifically two civilizations and three city-states, but I've kind of upped it a little bit. Instead, we have four civilizations and six city-states. The smallest Pangaea map in the game, and I have doubled the number of people starting on it. We are going to be very squeezed. So squeezed, in fact, that if you pressed me amongst some paper, scooped out all of my water, I'd make a very good ravioli filling. How this game is going to go is going to be rather intriguing to me. I am expecting us to be very crammed in, with very close neighbours, with deity, as usual, standard speed, only secret societies mode on today. I don't know who I'm going to play, we're just going to go with it. But we might find ourselves under assault very quickly. I don't know how we're going to win. I don't know how we're going to try and avoid losing. All I know is that the strategies on this game are going to be very different from a lot of games we've been playing recently. Oh, and I'm playing as French Eleanor of Aquitaine. In my opinion, the inferior version of Eleanor of Aquitaine. I know, I know, everyone likes France because France is a better culture, say wrong. England. England and the dockyards and the strategics and the gold. A single player, it is by far the superior, but we haven't played French Eleanor in a long time. Small map? A little bit of an opportunity for Court of Love? I don't know. We might find it too cramped. I may not get the snowball going. I don't know how we're going to play this. All I know is if you want to play alongside me, get yourself to Discord because the save file is there. Go on, off you go. Copy it and paste it onto your computer. Do it. I dare you. Right, let's get going. And now, for an important update. Having been expelled from Oxford University, Ursa Bear had met a man named Paul. Oh dear. Luckily for Ursa Bear, he had amassed 40,000 subscriptions. These beautiful little signatures attracted the attention of none other than Gilgabro. Scared off by the majesty, Paul retreated and left Ursa Bear to his way. Searching for new subscriptions, Ursa Bear travelled to the coast, where lo and behold, it looked like more people. More people for subscriptions. Alas, it was not to be. Ursa Bear, our sweet innocent bear is now trapped, harassed by giant crabs. Will you save Ursa Bear from crabs? Will you help Ursa towards his goal? Thank you so much. Back to the video. Turn one and I've got legendary start on and you can tell because that's Yosimit. Yes, the grand mountains of Yosimit. Delicious, scientific, very full of food and gold as well. This is an amazing one to start, possibly my favorite. Let's run with it. We're going to need all the help we're going to get. I'm going to move my warrior over to the left and just see what's going on around here. Lots of plains. Looks like there's grassland beneath us. We've got some mountains. Access to tea? That's a Brit. Oh, we should have played English, Eleanor. We really should have done. That's a good little start. Some salt. Hopefully we'll be serving that in great heaps to the AI. But I really want to start next to Yosemite. We've actually started with three era score just by meeting it first. The Golden Age is a very heavy opportunity for us, especially if I can meet the other three civilizations on this map really quickly. I could settle on top of this hill, get myself a production, but I wouldn't get the era score for settling next to Yosemite, and I wouldn't be able to work this tile immediately. That's a 2 2 3 1 tile. I would rather lose a production than settling on this maze, which actually would give my city centre some gold, so it's not even that bad. But then I would have all of these tiles in range of my capital. It, it's just, in my opinion, it is the choice. The choice. Hurry. Oh, uh -huh. let's get those baguettes in the oven quickly. And we're going to go straight for astrology. Fun fact for you, on a dual map, there are only two religions. If I do not get one of those religions, all trouble, all hell, it's all going to break loose. Just trust me. I do not want to be in a situation where one of the AI goes for religion and the other just isn't taken and then a religious victory is lost. I don't know if I'll be going for a religious victory. It feels a little cheap on a map this small, but at least if I've got a religion, I can stop the AI from, you know, just walking all over the game. So that's good. I need to be able to fend off the AI though, and Warrior will help me to do that. And what we can actually do is immediately plonk down a governor as well. Delicious. As I said, Secret Societies is on. No other game modes are on. No other gameplay mods are being played today. Just a straight game of Civ. 
Hermetic is always really fun, but I think I want to just see my options and see how the map plays out. I may need to go Sanguine Pact if I want a vampire to keep us safe. Maybe Lord Sucklington is the only thing standing between French defeat and um, we, we do know that the French do like to be, be defeat. I'm sorry, I love you really, but it's my, it's an option. Void Singers, we know that plays well with Eleanor. All those relics would help me to spread the Court of Love around. And as there's six city-states, if, uh, if I went for Owls, that would be a monopoly over them. So there are options. I think it's going to depend on who we have around us and how the game really plays out. So I don't know. At the moment, I'm just going to reserve judgment. Vatican interesting that would be a religious culture bomb and we're actually the first meet on that which means i'm going to start getting pantheon points really quickly interesting well owls is now an option i'm saving my governor but i think actually the first one i'm going to go for amani plonky down into vatican let's just try our very best to go for a golden age on such a small map that'd be really really good there's a second wonder oh my lord directly to the south of me and we're first meet on that which means we've actually got three era score from finding that first this is supposed to be a small map this is wonderful people love it when i send my warrior on really really far ranging trips so i was gonna loop around but i've just noticed a barb camp has spawned right by me so vatican will you send me a couple of warriors we're gonna go and deal with them quickly again it's all era score it's three era score if i can clear that and it stops the barbs from you know throwing units towards me oh well they've already done that it's persia we have persia next to us everybody delicious i'd love to sample your hospitality and scotland again probably for the best i'm not playing as england but two era score that's from claiming vatican first and another two era score from meeting people on such a small map there's a chance actually we might do all right here now, if i'm going to kill this barb encampment i'm gonna plonk myself on top of this hill with the woods it means this warrior gets a plus six combat strength if the spearman chooses to attack me it means that i can dictate the pace in which the camp is destroyed i like that persia is there and um, they're already getting their cities out and sterling is here as well the capital this means that scotland is likely to go and settle towards me and as you can see already space very limited this is not striking me as a heavy settler game i'll be honest with you right now i feel like that might not be what we need i do want to go and meet the next player first now they haven't met each other so if i meet whoever the fourth player is i'll get five era score from meeting everybody and that'll be pretty much a guaranteed golden edge so i like that i'll put a turn into a slinger but we will be going straight to astrology and you can see we're actually working this tile now which is lovely good chunk of production but there is more gold and more science on that tile i don't know why it didn't i guess these tiles technically have resources so the game will pick those up before this one which in its eyes is a useless tile just how it works feels like a bit of a waste of 50 gold i would rather save up and just get a monument or a settler i think speed is the goal here just getting out of my city as soon as i can yep vatican is attacking that barb encampment it's wonderful you do that i want to be the one to kill it but i don't need to kill it fast animal husbandry to let us find some horses and let's think about holy site placement a tundra tile well, that can't be improved and it's a bit useless. So if I can get the plus three, which would give me the adjacency on the holy site to get me the points there, then that's great. Could I build Stonehenge? I could in theory build Stonehenge, but I just don't think I'm going to have the production for it. I mean, I could go for autocracy and just go for it. It is possible. Do I go for a holy site and then rush for projects? Or do I go for Stonehenge and just go for it? Oh, choices, choices. I'm going to go holy site. I feel scared to go for Stonehenge. If I was like autocracy... Maybe I should go talk. Is this an autocratic run? Are we finally going to do it? Are we going to actually get ourselves the wonder bonus and then more yields in my capital? Are we going to have a super Paris? This may be possible. No, no, Scotland. Ah, uh, well, I mean, there's nothing we can do to stop that. They're going to settle there, but that's a bit annoying. And unfortunately, a barb horseman has appeared, but we get the points. I may lose the warrior, but I get the points. That's the main thing. And I'm hoping this horseman, without an encampment, is just going to charge at, well, hopefully the AI. We'll see. That's the other player, though. It's going to happen. No, they're attacking me. Oh, I got killed by a scout. Embarrassment, but don't worry. I got the era score. It's all fine. Vietnam, you can be a very strong AI. Yes, I'd love to sample your hospitality. I have so little space, it's ridiculous, but I do have five era score from meeting everybody. Wonderful. I realize I should be moving Armani around, shouldn't I? Probably would be a good move. I mean, Vatican is fun, but I could get some Marikand and get some era score from that. So let's move you across. Maybe I'll put Armani back in Vatican eventually. I don't know. Void Singers. 
Void Singers are always tempting. I can't lie. They are always tempting with Eleanor of Aquitaine. I'm going to put my Envoy into Candy. That means I can then switch Armani there. And I'm getting another Faith per turn. So it means that hopefully I'll get a Pantheon nice and quickly. Scotland have probably got the first Pantheon choice. But they do have Tundra. There's a chance they'll go for the Tundra Pantheon rather than the Three Sattler. Which is kind of what I'm hoping I'm going to get. But we'll see what they go for. Did I get Le Horse? Oh, some over here. There's at least one source of horse. That's what you like to see. And the coast. Hmm. All right, we have no space. Does it make sense to go onto the coast or does it make sense to go onto this salt? I'm going to have to go on the salt there. That's the only space I can really settle in that area. There is a geothermal fissure I could settle on. The fresh water would be a difficult ask. Still, though, I think we're going to have to just take what we can get. Are they saying that? Well, if I abandon my notion of fresh water entirely, I could then fit another city on the coast in this direction. So look at that, though. That is a campus. A campus of dreams. There's a plus four there. So settling on that tile, not ideal. See how it plays. I need more visibility. I need to see more of what's going on. Sounds like I might need a campus to start with, though. Yeah, I know. I know. Theatre squares are definitely what we should be going for. Religious settlements. I knew they'd do it. I knew Scotland would do it. They always do. All right. We'll go for something different. There'll be other pants for us no doubt no one else is going to beat us to a pantheon so i'm going to go for urban planning and we'll go for discipline because these barbs they're pesky there is the holy site it's done is it the first holy site it is no one else has got a district just yet i think i'm going to save my gold for a settler and i'm going to use my production to get the holy site prayers done that's the era score i need though by the way for a golden age so that's wonderful i'm leaving myself a little bit exposed here but i'm hoping Hoping if I just keep an eye on the enemy, they won't go too bad. Scotland tends not to attack too much. Can be a little bit aggressive. Persia, we all know what Persia's like. And Vietnam can be quite defensively minded as well. But Samarakand, that is some really good visibility on the center of the map That We don't mind that at all. Although I could use Candy. I might just go send myself over to Candy now. I don't think there's going to be any more natural wonders. So chances of me picking a relic up are pretty slim to none. I did start with a wonder. I can't complain. I'm not going to complain. This isn't a genuine complaint the start is fine yeah i reckon these three cities are the priority for me one two three this one can get fresh water but fresh water is not the biggest of importance but i think we've got to get just get the settler out as quick as we can here's a pantheon if there's one thing i've noticed it's that camps are very very plentiful on this start look at this we've got one two three four Five, all within an easy settleable distance. So that is very, very tempting. In terms of appeal, we have got breathtaking tiles. I could go the Earth Goddess, but it stops me from putting mines down later. I could go for fertility rights. So that would give me a free builder that I could work immediately to get start getting things like the deer, the maze, all of that in. 10% city growth rate is useful, but I think I'm going to trust my gut on this. I'm going to go Goddess of the Hunt. Doesn't give me anything right now, but an extra food and production on this tile would make that into a giga tile. In fact, looking at it, if I was going to pop a Temple of Artemis anywhere, it would be there because I'd have so much in range, it would be ridiculous. That's in range. That's in range. I could put it on that tile instead, but I tend to find rivers get more used for other things. So, okay, we have options. Might go archery. Just unlock temple quickly. I think going for a very strong capital here is not a bad move. Do I just one city challenge it? Just suggest that we're not going to settle out at all and then try and court our love out of problems? I mean, if I went for Apadana, great library, things that increase the number of slots that I can have in a city, there are options. Hmm, I'm between about five ideas here. I'm between about five different ideas and I don't know what is good for me. Oh, I was going to save that for the settler. I'm going to just break with what I've said immediately and go for a builder that lets me put the camp down i just believe i'll get my value for that really quickly and archery as much as i'd like a unit with a sling i'm just gonna go mining first so i can put a mine down on this copper this camp is mine yay the era score is less important but 30 gold is good and there's sanguine pact so i actually have the option to go for all four right now interesting very interesting. I don't know where we're going to go with this at all. This scout has appeared and is just attacking my city. All right, you take out whatever anger you need to on me. I don't mind that at all. There's Candy. I might leave Armani there for a second. Uh, this is a very, very diamond-shaped continent, isn't it? I reckon there's got to be other stuff out to the right. There's no way of getting Zanzibar. Six envoys there already? Oh, that's hard. That's hard to combat, but it's okay. Bam. Look at that tile. A Yosemite Pantheon camp. 
three food, four production, three gold, one science. I think my choice here, I think it was a sensible one. See if, we'll see if we, we believe that later, but I, I like it at the moment. All right, the scout's found me. I don't like that. I would rather you back off now, friend. I want to move my builder out. I want to do things. There you go. Look, I can move my warrior there and at least protect this area. Irrigation boost. Done. Oh, I've been putting it off, but I am going to buy this tile. I was saving for a settler, but the extra science I get is pretty massive. Here's a mine on a copper. That gives me the craftsmanship boost and the wheel bonus. I'm also really close to getting a profit. I, uh, do I need to rush this? No. I think instead I need infrastructure. Do I get a monument to get my government really quickly? It is tempting. It is very tempting because my culture is trash. But I think settling is, is kind of the important thing for me now. Right, fine. I'm actually going to build the settler out. I didn't think I was going to do that, but I think it's probably necessary for me. Oh no, the city of Dundee. That scuppers my plans for a city there. Do I want to recalibrate? I don't know if I do right now. You know what, actually, what I might have to do is just raise Dundee to the floor. I'll keep, I'll keep my point there just for now, just in case, just in case I change my mind later. But yeah, that's unfortunate. This barb encampment is throwing units out at an alarming rate right now. I'm going to need more defenses, I think. I'm going to need more defenses. Yep, hello. Oh, that's a horse archer as well. Oh, delightful. Delightful. All right, we're going to try and settle that city over there, but it's... Whether this is a good idea or not, I don't know. Oh, Candy's been taken from me. It's not very nice. Who's done that? Who's done that? Ah, oh, Scotland. I guess that sort of makes sense. All right, fine. I'll move Armani closer to me. I'll put you in Vatican instead. I'm sorry. Minus five, you say? That doesn't feel very nice at all. Might have to move Armani down briefly to uh, defend. Oh, 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 hello. Well, I guess that's close enough to where I was going to put things, but mm -hmm. this, uh, this map's filling up pretty quick. All right, luckily for me, Persia's scout has taken the attention of this barb horse archer away and moved my warrior out and attack it in the open field without it pillaging my farm, which was the biggest problem for me That Oh, we are packed in. We are packed in. If we were an animal right now, we would be an alpaca. And I move my warrior back, try and hide. I might actually have this farm pillaged, which is a little unfortunate, but that is a minus six city. Oh, minus eight, you say? It's even worse. All right, sorry, Armani. Briefly, you're going to have to hold this city down for a little bit. It's got no housing. That's okay. We don't mind, he says through gritted teeth. I could put a monument in it to make it a little bit better. I think actually just encouraging the growth of Paris is probably a better option for me, especially because I'm about to go into a golden age. Yeah, let's do that. Anyone else going to go into a golden age? If you want to ever check this, go into the score tab, show details. Have a look at era score. Anyone over 25? They're going to be going into a golden edge. Cyrus and Robert, not. Interesting. That might mean we can steal Dundee at some point. Maybe. We'll see. At least with one archer, I feel a little bit better. I'm going to take your 30 diplo favor because I physically can't settle anywhere else. I, mean, I guess I might lie to you over there, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Oh, we've declared friends with Vietnam. I just, I randomly offered it. I saw these warriors approaching. I thought, oh, don't, don't know how I feel about this. But it worked. And here is a religion. Archer says, back off, friend. Get out of my pub. And we party. What am I going to do with you? Where's the wonder card? It's in state workforce. Yeah, I kind of want that pretty quickly. So let's go for a monument first. Then I'm going to think about getting Hanging Gardens, Temple of Artemis. All of the good stuff, really. I can go for an autocracy. We should be able to make a good use of this sort of stuff pretty quickly. There's an improved source of tea. Gives me a little bit more loyalty in this city. Leon now is not unhappy. So he's not losing three loyalty per turn. I like that. I could sell the tea for eight gold per turn. But given how much gold I've got at the moment, I think it's actually more valuable for me to keep it. I think. I don't know if that's necessarily true. I might just gamble here and form my religion in the next era to try and get myself a bit of era score. Because I'm settling so few cities, era score is going to be really important. So we'll kind of just hold on to this stuff for now. I mean, I'm going to lose some era score because this barb outpost, I'm not sitting around and letting that spawn more barbs. We have some safety now. That's good. Monument finished. Delightful. I just think Temple of Artemis is such a good choice. So I'm going to plop it down and hope monumentality can get me out of the issue with the faith per turn. We'll see if that works. I don't know if this is a good move. Space is so limited though. I love it. I love it already. I'm really, really hoping we can get some good loyalty over some of our adjacent cities. The glorious cultural invasion of Dundee. Actually, I took a turn off the Temple of Artemis already. Beautiful. 
Did we get any iron? There's some there. Do I need discipline anymore? I'm gonna take a gogi in the hope that if I do need to generate an army quickly, I'll be able to do it fairly easily. Barbs are more under control now. I mean, I could move this warrior over here just and then like freeze you there. And at least barbs won't spawn so close to me. If they spawn over here, there's a good chance Vatican will go and deal with them for me. I'm gonna move my archer over in this direction and see what's over here. I say that. Why am I not just using my profit? Ah, you see? You see? Can I have a lift back to my nation, please? Thank you. It actually means I can settle round Yosemite. Interesting. What's the appeal like on these tiles? Pretty high. Means we could, in theory. We could, in theory, look to plop a couple of preserves down if the tiles are favourable for us. I don't think it works, unfortunately, because there's just not enough space. But at least I can plop a city there. So there is an option. There are options. We have options. There are always options. State workforce. I need a governor. I need to build wonders faster. Please, build them for me. Etimananki has been built by Scotland. Actually, that's a really good pickup for them. Look at all that floodplain. Oh, no. Already getting some good signs. Generals being hooked up by Persia. Yeah, we've got a lot of interest. He didn't kill me. Whoa, lazy, making me walk back to my own nation with my own legs. How very dare you. The world enters the classical era and I'm hoping that Scotland, yes, didn't get the golden age. They have a normal age. Let's just see. <gasps> 1.2. Yes, as Leon and Paris both grow, there's a chance we might be able to nab Dundee. Not soon, but eventually. For me, it's monumentality. I've got six faith coming in per turn. That's good. But let's plonk down the religion. It's the squeezy snake <laughs> because we're, we're so crammed in. Now, for me, I think we have two choices. Two. One, two. You know I love Feed the World. But in this particular map, it has another reason that I would want to get it. Big cities. Well, that affects the Court of Love, and it means that if I've only got three or four cities on this map, at least they are as big as possible. It's quite a good thing. Or I could go for the long game. If I was going to go Void Singers, Reliquaries. That is bonus faith. It's bonus tourism. It is the long game, though. I wouldn't get any benefit from it for some time. And if I go making relics, then... I mean, it's so late in the game. So late in the game. I'm going to have to go feed the world. This game is just a, a case, I think, of making sure I get some benefit from the stuff that I'm working now. I, I just, I have to go for it. I'm not going to get any of the spreading abilities. I'm not going to crusade today. I think instead we're going to just get something that's going to help me. Two science, culture, golden faith for every city following a religion that has a world wonder. I'm going to be building a lot of wonders. I'm going to go for wonders. I've never gone for this. This is really cool. Done. Well, bam. I, it won't give me anything right now, but it will very soon. The squeezy snake. Excellent. That won't take long to spread to Leon. And it means that really, I do need to get myself a shrine in Paris. But that's 280 gold. I'll be able to afford that imminently. Speaking of, we need resources. We need resources fast. I'm going to go and just move you onto that T and I'm going to use my faith. Do I get the faith into a settler right now? No, I need to make sure these two cities are as good as possible. Builder, builder. It's good use of faith that. There's uh, lots of camps in Leon that'll help the growth with my pantheon quite considerably. And I'll save up my faith afterwards for a nice trade route. Oh, maybe I won't be getting a shrine anytime soon. I'm so bad at saying I'm going to do one thing and then buying other things. But I can pick up two luxuries this turn. One with an amazing camp and then there's another plantation. So Leon actually has housing to grow now. For the first time ever. And that tea is worth 18 gold per turn with Scotland. Annoying that because that would make Dundee possibly happier. They've only got four cities, so every city would get one. It's too early to be worrying about that. For now, I'd rather not get Dundee and get the gold per turn, you know? I think that's good for me. Actually means I do have the money to get the shrine. Three food, two housing, four faith. You better believe it. I realize I'm getting this builder and I think that's probably the worst thing that I could be getting. Let's get the holy site instead. And this tile here, it's just plus one. I can build around it. It's not a very good tile. Let's work that tile. Get it done. Samarakand has just been levied by Persia. Well, that's just a bit worrying, isn't it? Actually, can I ruin your day? Oh, I can almost ruin your day. Amani almost has the loyalty under control. So I almost can go and just move Amani out and, and capture Samarakand and just get the era score from knocking the army off Persia. I always love doing that. It's the cruel option. I'm actually going to buy this tile 
from Leon, improve it to get the camp, but then I think I might give it to Paris to work because I want these temples done quicker and you've already got a fairly decent other tile to work. I might swap it back later. Well, I love it when you do that. The borders just look disgusting, but that means that Paris will just keep on growing and we can get the temple up as quickly as possible. State workforce, Corvée, 15% production towards wonders. Well, I do think I will help myself to this because now I can chop out 39 production from that wood and pick up Temple of Artemis. More food, more housing for this very flush looking Paris. Yeah, stuff yourself with all of my dear pies and treats. The delicatessens and bakeries will be full of the greatest of venison products and it'll be wonderful. Drum and poetry boosted. I so rarely get that boost. It's absolutely criminal. But if I let that all work through, you'll notice that my religion is actually giving me. He checks notes. Two science, culture, gold, and faith. Ah, uh, you only get it once, but early game, it's a nice boost. Is it the best religion, by the way? No, no, it absolutely is not the best religion. I could have done better, but there's something about the fact that I just so rarely go for it that kind of made me want to go for it. Does that make sense? Just in the interest of doing something a little bit different. I think that works for me. So, you know, we'll do it. If I were to plonk the Apadana down, which is always a difficult one because, I mean, the AI does love to go for it down there. I could, in theory, put Le Hanging Guard on there, and I could theatre square myself silly with a plus six there. Oh, that looks nice. I wanted to get the government plaza out as quickly as possible, but you know what? Actually, what I'll do instead is just focus on growth, focus on stuff. Let's get the trader out, and then I'll chop that out by removing the stone and put the theatre square there. Although, saying that, I'm going to put the quarry down first because then I get the boost in masonry. Oh, He's so complex. Oh, hello. Am I disturbing something here? I hope not. We haven't really spoken about France at all. I kind of got to this point and didn't really talk about it. You know Eleanor of Aquitaine. All great works, including relics in my cities, provide minus one loyalty per turn to foreign cities within nine tiles. Remember, it's not tire nine tiles of where the works are. It's nine tiles of the city center the great works are in. So if I'm like, oh, I'm going to be really clever and put a theater square on, say, this tile because it's closer to the AI. Nope. It works based on the range of the city centre. So Paris is influencing all of these cities, for instance. And if a city would go to a three city, but I have the most loyalty there, which to be honest is very, very generous in how it calculates that for Eleanor. I'd love to see that exact calculation because it always throws things up that you would not expect. They skip the three city and they go straight to you. It's wonderful. Just steal a city. Ta-da! Tourism from Wonders is really good. Production from Medieval Renaissance and Industrial Ear Wonders as well. So just mid-game Wonders, you can slap those down like crazy. Chateau, a little bit of extra culture and gold, especially if you put them next to Wonders or gold if they put them on rivers. It's quite fun. And Guard Imperial, this, considering the entire map is, is one continent seemingly, that's rather fun. This thing is a 70 combat strength troop because it's line inventory, which is 65 and it's better. And then it gets plus 10 combat strength as well on top of that. So it actually attacks with 80 strength. It's more powerful than inventory. It's really good. Oh, it's one of the best get. I, I still debate as to whether or not it's better or worse than red coat. Red coat has the same ability, but it's only on other continents. So it's debatable. It's debatable. I'm still debating where I'm going to put my governor though. I could go void singers. That would allow me to turn the faith of my capital, which is considerable to be fair, eventually into science and culture. But I feel like with Eleanor of Aquitaine, we always do Void Singers, and this game is about being a little bit different. So what else could we do? Well, I think Sanguine Pact. Granting a vampire unit is always fun. But actually, if I'm going to build a lot of wonders, like a lot of wonders, then having my vampire castles on the map to collect resources to then throw back to my capital, especially on such a small map, that would be a way of generating a lot of good stuff. So I might go Sanguine Pact, and because of that, I'm going to go Pingala in my capital for now to get the most value out of Pingala. And we'll employ Sanguine Pact, unless I change my mind, as soon as I've unlocked the Medieval Era, because then I can go straight through and unlock the castles immediately. Bam! Now the Barb Camp defeated, and my archer's just going to sit here, grinding experience whilst I try and find out what's down in this side of the map. You were war. Oh, Persia, you naughty boy. Vatican wants a trade route, but it would be rubbish. I'm actually tempted to send it from Paris to my own city. Just one food, one production doesn't seem like a lot. When you're building wonders, it is a lot. It's a tasty amount. 
There are so many barbarian galleys. This is what happens sometimes when the map runs out of things to do. Like it has a camp, it wants to throw stuff down, but there's nothing the camp can do. So it's just like, all right, we'll, we'll build boats. Okay, Amani's happy again. So I'm gonna pop you back somewhere. Yes, I'm actually gonna stop Persia from using Samarkand for war. No, 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 that will annoy them. Well, it won't really annoy them, but it's, it's quite funny nonetheless. Builder, I wanna take that off the production queue. Leave the production queue open in Paris. And then when I chop the 41 production out of Paris, it then overflows and is applied immediately to the hanging gardens. Why do I want the hanging gardens? 15% growth rate in all cities. Combined with Feed the World, let me tell you, it's a lot of fun. I want autocracy as soon as possible. We're going to do it. We're going to have an autocratic game. I, I'm so excited. Autocratic French vampires. Who would have thought it, eh? That was actually a pretty good deal. I probably should have given them that. The open borders on such a small map. I feel like this is my land and I want to, I want to protect it. It's my though. They've even got it written down. Is that a theater square you've got going there? Oh, Vietnam. Yes, this is good. As Eleanor, you want people to be generating great writers because it means they have theater squares, which means when you take the cities over, then you've got places to put your own. It's wonderful. Don't get precious about this sort of stuff. Just embrace it. Let's get a granary into Leon just so it actually grows, please. Thank you. And Pingala, get yourself connoisseur. Get yourself connoisseur. Then, when you're installed next turn, bam, 16 and 16. That is a neat amount of culture and science. I thought that was pretty good, but I'm just looking at the AI. 39 culture, 39 science. Yeah, I'm being showed up a little bit, but it's okay. Don't stress about it. We'll be fine. Maybe. As long as we don't die. We could die very quickly. Oh, Fez. There's another city-state. There should actually be one more. I did put six on this map. It's always worth remembering the <laughs> settings you build a map with. It's surprising how often you forget them. Robert the Bruce has gone Stonehenge. So Scotland is going to have the other religion. Interesting. See, I'd rather Paris continue to grow. So I'm actually going to buy the settler from Leon. It's always good to take it from a really small population city because that population recovers really quickly all right we should get era score here yeah there we go for getting the army that persia had levied to stand down wonderful classical republic classical republic classical republic you know what we need to do autocracy 10 percent production towards wonders you say oh yeah plus one to all yields in the government as well it's beautiful we'll go diplomatic league for now and i think i'll go urban planning just for a little bit more production just to throw in every benefit we can get hanging gardens is going to help a lot but i do want these benefits these bonuses to give me as much as they can i keep thinking about selling my luxuries but i don't think i want to they're causing me to stay happy right now i really do need to improve the amount of camps and pastures and things i've got going though temple of art would let me get a benefit yeah i'm just saving up the faith to get the builder in paris once i've got that i'm gonna go one two three four all of these upgrades if i can just make sure i get all the tiles around there that'll be lovely hanging gardens growth increases by 15 percent in all cities when you've got feed the world this applies very nicely it kind of gives you basically an extra food and a little bit but when you get trade routes later into the game they massively get improved by hanging gardens it's lovely plus the tourism is wonderful especially when you're playing Playing France. You know what? I'm going to put the government plaza there in order to increase this holy site. So I'm going to get my capital to build it, but it's cheaper to buy the tile from Leon and then swap it over and then get the government plaza down. Two turns, wonderful, but I need to get as many buildings in these government plazas down as quickly as I can because I do get one of every yield from autocracy. So I want the government plaza, I want the diplomatic quarter, all of those done as quickly as possible. The only problem I can see is as soon as I settle the city, all these barbarians are just going to attack it. Hmm. I probably want some defenses in this city. So maybe I should save up for some horses and get a horseman there. I mean, at least then it's not going to get killed. I might need to just wait on that city creation. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Holy site's finished though. Brilliant. Holy site. Done. Paris. Warlord's throne? Nah, not for us today. Increased production towards settlers. But where are they going to go? Audience chamber. Two amenities. Four housing in cities with governors. You know it's got to happen. Eventually we want to get governors in every city. But for now, researcher is lovely in Paris because it gives me a whole bunch of science. It actually puts me above everyone except 
from Scotland, which I'll take. Yeah, I'm just holding off on settling the city. I don't believe if I put that city down, I would be able to keep it. I will get some writer points in though. That is quite fun. Corvée, I'm going to keep in because the Apadana is going in soon. Although seeing that, mm, I've got other stuff I want to be building first. Well, I do really want the Apadana as fast as possible. Audience chamber is important though. All right, let's pop that down next. I can afford a builder though. Yay! Go and improve these sheep and we can get horseback riding done. Not only does this pasture give me a little bit more production, I think, in my city, but it's an extra immunity from a Temple of Artemis, which is what we want. And a boost to horseback riding. Also what we want. Uh, it's always my favourite bit when you can start offering all of your diplo favour for gold. Excellent. Actually generated quite a bit of it. Early government, city-state control. It's been wonderful. Done. I'll take all that. I'll take open borders from you. 400 gold. Just like that. Well, in that case, what I'm going to do is settle my third city, pull you back and get you to attack. And then do I get a second archer and keep the city weak. Or do I get a heavy chariot in just to increase the defences? I'm going to increase the defences to 28. I think the barbs will struggle to get through that, but we'll see. Oh, my promise ran out as well. <laughs> yeah, go on then. I'll take another 30 dip play favor. I didn't break my promise technically. Oh no, I did break it. Oh, well, they just gave me more dip play favor to ask for the same thing over again. D don't ask. Don't ask. You know what? I like this city. It may end up getting destroyed. I may have miscalculated this entirely. I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. If it gets destroyed, it was just a little bit of faith. So I'm not I'm not too fast, but it would be quite embarrassing if it did. Here though is a source of horse, and luckily for me, that is Paris. Ecstatic. That means 20% on all yields in the capital. Oh yes, what a wonderful place indeed. I'm pretty sure when apart from Sterling, it's by far the biggest city on the map. Ooh, and classic Mashu Pichu being built from like turn what really early? Oh yeah, no, this city's gonna die. <laughs> Oh, well, we suspected that might happen, but I don't care. I really don't care. Scripture, done. Yay. That is hilarious. <laughs> F in chat for ruin. It, it really is a ruin. Another beautiful camp in my capital. Yep, keeping it happy. You can't escape joy. Well, Anshin, look at this little stringy continent bit. There's, there's actually space for cities down there. I will keep that in mind. Also, now I've got Fez, I get science for converting cities. So this is a good time to convert my own cities. And two science from great works of writing, you say? Well, go on then. Goodbye. I'm saluting into the air. Oh, no. No, not dead yet. I think that's next turn. It's going to die, though. That's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't find it so funny, but I do. Ah, uh, dear, I dare. Who would be a good choice for a second governor? There's a lot of useful terrain around here. Could be a good rainer city. Magnus? Mmm, that's me chop stuff. I guess that would help me to get a couple of wonders out. Yeah, go on, man. I'll put Magnus in. Oh, this city is really not very loyal. It's a good thing you've got a governor in there now. Lovely. The Apadana now being built. The more things I can have in my capital, the better. Which is why in true Ursa style, I'm going to do everything except get it. <laughs> and then I'm going to get it. <laughs> I just think having a water mill will boost stuff for me. A granary is good for food. There's a lot of good stuff there. I'll get around to it eventually. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Go on, F in chat. Oh, I really should have moved the heavy chariot out there. But it just, it just felt fitting that captain of the ship would go down with that. <laughs> What a failure. Oh, dear, I oh dear. I can't tell you how much joy that's brought me. It really has. <laughs> Can you start going, wait, am I a bad person? You know what? I'm just going to go for the one city at Pep. I'm going to settle there because all these towers are kind of useless for my capital. Then I can put a preserve down, and that's quite handy because there's quite a few high appeal towers around it, so that'll be fun. And the city center will work some good towers. Yeah, that's that's nice. We like that. We like that indeed. Should probably spread my religion around, shouldn't I? Seeing as Catholicism is spreading so much. Oh, look, Dundee has joined my religion. It's a shame. Or oh, like the fact the walls are still there. I never finished those walls. That's even sadder. <laughs> Oh no, bad things happened there. Don't worry about border expansion, by the way. I can hear you saying, why are you not using your gold to buy the tiles around here? Don't worry. These cities will all be mine eventually. Like Vietnam is in a golden age and she's only got six loyalty on this city. Just you wait. Oh, Sterling, you're not so big now, are you? <laughs> the squeezy snake. It's done. 80 science to me as well. Oh, that's like two turns worth of science. I like that. 
Here's a cheeky little temple. Eight, no, six faith per turn. Uh, relic slot, three extra food, two extra housing. Paris is already up to 24 housing. I love it. Look at the growth as well. Temple of Artemis kicking in nicely with hanging gardens. It's a good combo, isn't it? It's a good combo. Fancy a little bit of spare science. So I'm going to start converting cities around me. I mean, I could go and convert Scotland cities, but I'm not going for a religious victory. I said I wouldn't. I'm sticking by that. And huzzah! There's apprenticeship. All of my mines get a little bit of extra production up to 45 production in Paris. Lovely. You may have noticed that I put an aqueduct, uh, well, the only place I could have put an aqueduct I put a holy site there yes that was an oversight but I think because of the way I've set this up with feed the world and then my government I think housing's not going to be a problem already up to 11 housing in a city with no housing so I think I've got away with it but no it wasn't deliberate <laughs> Just in case anybody was like, what's going on with Ursa? What's he doing? Just usual Ursa stuff. Don't worry. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Rom88, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boyzoro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedged, Mushkin Mandeltort, Ezri Dax, Debel Time, Shule, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Clint Tennis, Dr. Bobby, Polar Wallaber, Mixamatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indigenous 68. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye!